Okay, here we go again. Things are happening. So, we have just been able to research robots. So now we just need to make some some batteries and some electric engines and stuff. And then we can finally start producing robots. So that's going to be the goal right now, is to get that up and running. Uh, anything I need to attend to before that? Uh, I should probably refill these with ammo first. Yeah, all these have efficiency modules now, which is going to be... Um, really make it a lot easier to defend this, because it'll just produce less pollution and therefore produce fewer enemies. And likewise here, almost everything has modules. So yeah, I'll go down there, refill this with ammo, and then get started on the robots. And there's some more speed, let's get a bit more of that. Yeah, that's all we can get right now before we have yellow signs. So let's see here, this will take me there, and then from there, yeah, this will take me all the way down, it seems. Can I place this in map view? I can, cool. So, let's start designing some stuff here. So first off, we need... Uh, Batteries. I'm actually going to bring up my spreadsheet for this and see how much stuff I need in order to make robots. Do I have that prepared? It looks like I don't. Okay. So I'll do some oh Let's see here. Um if I want one robot per second I'm going to need two batteries per second. Yeah, two batteries per second. That means I need eighty sulfuric acid per second. Which is two of these. So yeah, that's uh, 8 sulfur per second, uh, which is 4 of those, and uh, 120 petroleum per second. Yes, yeah, so that's going to take a sizable amount of uh, load off from the uh, from these assemblers right now, because these are pretty much the only thing consuming um, petroleum. Because the plastic isn't really working full speed. Uh, but okay, I'm here already. That's cool. So I'll just supply these with ammo. Oops. Okay, 
Looks fine still. So let's see, that'll take me all the way there. See, I need more of these making sulfur. it up there and sulfur and then feeding into two sulfuric acid makers okay now this is going to take me all the way up there the battery makers I think. No, five of them actually. Right, yeah, two per second so I need ten actually. Ten battery makers. Now I can get all the way there. of plates and this one needs only iron and that needs only iron and so I can actually pull that from the same belt These are going to be, yeah, just two iron per second, and that's two iron per second, yeah, that's fine, that's enough, with uh, just half a belt of iron, and then let's do that. And then here I need water there as well. Let's see, this is two per second, so I need a fast inserter there. I probably want to make these symmetrical, or can I even make them symmetrical? Maybe I cannot. Because if, if I pull this down, then this will interfere. Yeah, so let's keep it up there. And, uh, yeah, that's the water. Actually, make it like that. This goes there.
See that? Yeah, that only needs fluids. Okay, so just need copper and iron there. And now let's see where to exactly this. And maybe I want to... Yeah, it's gonna be just two per second. Yeah, so that's not gonna fill the belt anyway. I'm thinking if I want to do these folded somehow, so I'm inserting from both sides. But yeah, I think I'll just do it like this. And then like that. And there's batteries. So then we need to get the water and the petroleum in there, but I, I can do that. So, uh, let's put this like there, maybe. Then maybe we can put the robot production here. So let's see, do I have copper and iron down here so I can pull those up? Uh, which of these, which are these from though? Uh, this one... Yeah, this is the research one. And this one is going to... No? Okay, so the mall one is going into red circuits and blue science. Okay, so it's not really that. Neatly separated, maybe I should just put a splitter there. But yeah, I can split from them down here and pull those up. Can I make it over here? Not quite. So maybe I run those belts in here, I suppose. Like that. I think that's fine enough for now. Maybe I even want to merge those right away, but no, oh, let's see. Uh, steel, yeah, I don't need iron plates anywhere around here, no. I guess I need gears for those. So yeah, maybe I should just merge down here. Then I can actually put it here. Or just like this, oops. That also works, I suppose. Yeah, saves a few builds too. Uh, I think I'm going to do that first. The water will need to come in here. And petroleum, like there. Hello, I bet the crazy. Welcome back. There's been quite a lot of progress here lately. And uh, let's see here, I'll do like this. doing stuff on offline? No, I haven't. I've been streaming all of it. Okay, 
Okay, that's okay. Oops. Okay. Um, yeah, I need to connect some pipes. So I need one of these. It's so nice to have these big poles now, so that I don't need to constantly go back and forth whenever I forget to connect up a power pole. Let's get rid of these trees. Let's see, okay, that's fine. Right, and I probably need some power poles for those too. Can squeeze those in in the middle. And I also need, let's see here, that's two per second. These cannot quite do two, two per second. So yeah, these need to be fast ones. Uh, so yeah, this whole thing is going to have to move one tile in. Like, oh, like that. Been doing late streams then? Yeah. Yeah, probably. It's been kind of late, I think. Uh, let's see here. So this will have to go like that then. So I can connect this pipe. Oh no, I cannot, okay. So... Yeah, it'll be, be a bit spaghetti. Oh, well, that's okay. And, uh, yeah, this needs to come down. So that I can fit this one in there. See where these are gonna fit then. Some inventory space with this. And then pull this down one, and then I can squiggle this through here. That works. So this will need to go there, I will need to get out. This one does not. But that is okay.
So let's connect this up and see what happens. Still 12th try? Yep. Still the 12th, 12th attempt. So it's going pretty well. So why are these not working? Ingredient shortage. Oh, because I haven't connected the pipe. There we go. Any ghosts here? No. Oh. <laughs> Wait, and this is... Yeah, that's gonna need, let's see... One plate per second. So one inserter I don't think is enough? Or is it? Oh, but there's a stack size 2 now. Okay. So that works. Okay, that should be enough batteries to make one robot per second. So now I just need to make the robots. So let's see, uh, batteries are done. These are going to need the lubricant and some engine units. Yeah, so we're going to need, let's see, we need electronic circuits up here. We need steel and we need iron plates. I think that's going to be all. So I will probably just pull this belt up here and just reuse this one. At least for now. Uh, so I'll probably do that like this. There's green plate or green circuits, and then we need iron plates and steel plates, and we have both of those here. Yeah, we're gonna just need the same kind of setup here. I'll just copy all of this. I can figure that out a bit prettier. So then I need to split this. Uh, let's see, so underground belt splitter, so I'll go. Put this there, I guess, and then this will come up like that. You just put these next to them, and that should be everything I need. I also need lubricant. Oh, that's right here. Okay, let's see what's going wrong here. Whoops. Okay. I need to go fix that right now. Yeah, there's still these, so those should be able to clean that up before they destroy the entire power plant. Yeah, that's another, another thing I should do is transition the flamethrowers over to light oil instead. 
now that I have that. That should be pretty easy to do now with a new um, with a new fluid blush feature. So I can probably just reconnect the pipes and it'll just work, I think. Yeah, it looks like this. I was able to clean up, but oh yeah. Let's hope I make it there before those attack. Yeah, if not, this should still last for a while longer. Well, not all that long. I'll take some of these. They're more useful in my inventory than sitting around there. I have plenty of ammo, so I don't need to pick that up. I can take a few more walls. I think I need more inserters right now. I can't take a few more turrets. Maybe don't need all of those. I could probably have saved myself so much work if I had just built flamethrowers here. But now I'm so close to robots, so I just want to get the robots up and let those do it for me. See how pollution is doing now. So in the last 10 minutes, oh yeah, now the mining drills are lower than the furnaces, thanks to the efficiency modules. Uh, okay, here I need to go there. But yeah, then... Okay, I need a bit more time to, to do those numbers in my head. Oh no, I actually have uh, automatic ghosts, thanks to having research robots. Take me there. So yeah, let's see here. Pollution. In 10 minutes we have made... How much? So about a thousand... Yeah, like a thousand one two hundred or something. And the terrain is able to consume four or five hundred of it. So yeah, still producing way more pollution than the terrain can consume, but definitely a lot less than, yeah, definitely a lot less than a few hours ago, thanks to the efficiency modules. Yeah, and that also drastically reduces the power consumption which is also a nice bonus 80 
15 kilowatts, that's nothing. Are they breaching? No, but I will need to replace the turrets. But maybe I can do that with the robots. So let's see, where will this take me? All the way there. Okay, and I need to go there. Okay. Yep, so this is what I was doing here. So I think it's iron on the outer one and steel here. So it'll be something like this. This probably needs to be flipped around so that I can have electric engines there. Right, now I also need to bring this one up, actually. Can also grab a few more productivity modules. Also come in handy. So let's see here, split, underground, oh, actually even like this. Make it pretty. And yeah, I needed this one too, there. Right, so now let's see here. Can probably straighten these out a bit. Uh, so we'll have like. Yeah, we can put the input on one side and the output on the other. Something like that, and then we'll have yeah, any order on these, really. Let's put those like yeah, there, should be okay. And uh, robots will put yeah, here, I think. There, and steel comes in there. And let's see. To get one robot per second, I need one frame per second, which means I need 20 of those, and it's 2 to 1, and 1 to 1, yeah. So, engine and frame. Right, and that needs fluid input too. Uh, let's see if I can make these by direct insertion. Uh, because this is gonna need... Yeah, this can work here. Let's 
Let's see if it can work on the other side too. I think it can, yeah. And then it's steel battery circuit engine. So I need steel and batteries on one belt. Yeah, maybe I need to put these on both sides here. Okay, this will actually not quite work. Maybe I can... yeah, I can probably do that instead. And with that I can... Almost do this. I guess I'll just put them on a belt. So then I will need, let's see, it's one and one. So let's put these and circuits, I think, on one belt. Makes sense. So that's going to be green circuits in there. Yeah, now I can move this one there and do that and we'll have the other two steel and batteries on this one. Right, so the steel actually needs, needs to split here as well. Don't need those there anymore. Let's see how we can split this steel. I guess I can run this up here, rather. And come out here. And go like that. Yep, that makes things a lot easier. So now I can split the steel there, send it there, and then put in batteries here. That should work. And that should be all I need to get this running. And then finally we're going to need both green and red circuits here actually. So let's take one of these, or split this somehow. And... Yeah, I'm gonna need way more red circuits anyway. Maybe I can fit some in here or something. Uh, actually, I don't need that much red circuits because those are only for the logistic bots, which I'm not going to use that many of. Uh, so I can just use this, I think. Yeah. So I'll do some undergrounds on the greens. that. Split this off. And merge. That way I get both green and red up here. Which is not what I want. Maybe I put those on the steel belt instead? Then I need to split them off there instead. I'll just do like 
this, I think. Yeah, so I can do green that way. And then merge back down. These will go that way. And then here. It's gonna be lubricant. And here. Somewhere down here we'll have Maybe actually this way. there and then I can figure something out with that but yeah, I think this looks good oh yeah and I also need to uh, wait it's the other way around here all oh, right so it's two of these for each one of those actually uh, so Maybe I should just make this two-sided, actually. You know what? I'll just get this running. And then I can... ...refine it later. Yeah, and these can still be... ...this kind of repeating. thing there. Only 16, wow. So that should be 20. Yeah. Then I can just get rid of most of this. Or half of it, rather. But most only half. There. And that should do it.
I haven't seen contact there in quite a while. Then I'll go connect up the lubricant so I can get this whole thing working. I messed those up slightly. Why don't those need? Lubricants. So lubricant goes there. Did that not connect? Oh. There we go. should have some turrets here so I don't get sniped. This would be a very unfortunate time to get sniped. So that is working. Awesome. Doesn't actually need to continue. Uh, there.
out of purples. Whoops. Oh, whoops, I guess I forgot that. Uh, right, yeah. Actually, yeah, I did other while, while I was up here, I suppose, so I actually forgot when I was down there. Uh, what's going on? Okay. I have plenty of batteries, at least. Also, I'm going to need lots of circuits to make roboports. So I should probably set up a red gear or red circuit somewhere over here too for the mole. Can I squeeze this in? Over there. Let's see if I can squeeze that in. It does barely fit there <laughs> if I wanted to. And there too, actually. Maybe that's not half bad. I'll squeeze it in there. If I move this. Yeah, that doesn't actually seem half bad. One red circuit per second isn't much, but... I mean, probably enough to feed this small. Maybe. I could use some more inserters. Oh, and here are the poles. I'm okay on big ones, but yeah, let's take all of those. And yeah, I think I will do the red circuits here so I can get started on some roboports. Oh, wow. Those are out of ammo already. Uh, I guess I need to do that first again. It's more than zero at least, yeah. More than zero red circuits per second, yeah. Yeah, I 
I think they should aggro over here before they go for the plant, yeah. I wonder, I guess those are coming from here probably. So let's see, they're coming from this angle. Which means I maybe should just make this a kind of L shape here. Yeah, this little power plant here has served me very well for a very long time at this point. Still nowhere near consuming all of that power. Probably leave some more ammo in this because this, yeah, this seems to be only fighters. And we're having no trouble with those really until these run out of ammo. So I'll do that and probably even throw in a few more turrets here. spells to push them out from the towers? <laughs> Me from the turrets? <laughs> yeah, that's a fun idea. I think the walls are just fine. Okay, red circuits. Let's squeeze that in here. This is going to be the output. So we'll need to figure out where to put those red circuits because I'm out of belts here, kind of. Maybe I just take the pipes off here or something. And again, I am going to need more stuff on this, on these belts. Maybe I can put them up here actually. Then on the other hand, I will also need steel and stuff. So I could do, could pull this out back the other side and split off a steel belt and put red circuits and steel up here. Seems like a reasonable thing to do. Uh, let's see, I can use, can do that to get this out of the way. Then I can go in here. Okay. 
slap a few modules on this one too. I think I need all of those labs probably. Oh wait, this one needs to go there. So yeah, maybe I should just pull this the other way instead. that oh yeah because I need to f merge it with plastic too yeah right so I need to figure out how to get plastic over here as well right um, so yeah that has to dive there I can just put that there instead okay and then this will come back up here This way, somehow, like this. And then, let's see here. this. No, actually I need two, I need two splitters here. Well, I need one that sorts out the steel. Can I even do this in a good way? I'll just do it on the other side instead. Instead, <laughs> that's much easier. So this goes up there. This continues there. here instead. Much better. Okay. So 
now I just need to get iron and copper down there. And you have both of those there. this way and just move these turrets oh whoops those are getting a bit too close get this sorted first and then I can come back down here and set up the assemblers for roboports and chests and then connect everything up so it starts working. three minutes. So let's see, I'll put a new pillbox up here I think. Seems like a good place. instead. Oh wait, wrong one. Need to refill belts again. Thank you. 
So that's another new nest there. That's not great. Okay, let's do some assemblers here. Uh, one, two, three chests, and one for roboboards. But I think I'll do the roboboards first. Well, belt, belt will be there. So that's not actually going to reach. What did I intend to put there? I'm not sure. Maybe I'll just pull this belt down one tile so I can put that there. Yeah, that works fine. And then I need gears and steel, and steel will be there, so I just need gears. Gears and outputs. Let's do 20, I think. This one first. And then Not really gonna need many of those, but I'll make an output anyway. Uh, right, and then these are also going to need stuff from. Okay, this one is gonna need steel. So I can put the output there instead. Turtle will have to move. And uh, green circuits. That should be all oh, these need. No, not quite right. Uh, this also needs to be on that side. Okay, that's going to need to be reinforced too. Uh, what am I out of these? Well, wow. see so yeah, how this can get one of those, and this one too, and that should be all steel. Yeah, that looks like it's working, or will be working once I connect the resources. So there. Oh, right. Needs to go the other way. Hmm. So now I should only need to connect the coal, copper and iron there. And this should get working. Can I dump anything here? Some iron there? No? Okay. So here I need to go down. And that one is copper, yeah. And this one is iron.
Oh yeah, and I also need plastic, right. It can come this way. Goes there. Can go like this, right? Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, okay. And then there. Okay, I have a plan for the plastic. Just need to execute. down a bit here. Like that, I think. Oh, now they're eating here. That's first. So this is going to need a reinforcement. Anything else? I don't think so. So let's see if any of these are working now. No? Right, because it doesn't have plastic yet. It's beautiful. <laughs> Look at that. So, oh yeah, okay. I was thinking, why are these buffering up? But of course, it's because this was blocked. So. That is, of course, why. Uh, 
Now these are going to do some damage to the, to the turrets. Yeah. Yeah, spitters are much more better, much much better at killing turrets than the buyers are. Yeah. Okay. Still, good amount of ammo here. Oh, they've almost broken through here. But yeah, these flames, flames or turrets are really doing work here. So it's gonna be nice when I can upgrade all these things to use those instead. I want to do that with the robots to keep myself a bit safer. working now. Yeah. Item ingredient shortage. Oh yeah, it's uh, the red circuits. Okay. So what about now? Yes, Roboport. Now I just need to get this running. Oh yeah, and I already have plenty of frames. Or a few at least. The important part here is to get the frame the frames. Yeah, frames. I was thinking I need to say flames, but that's another another thing, I suppose. Oh yeah, getting the frames running, so... Uh, because once you have those, it takes almost no time to make the robots. Uh, since these have half a second crafting time. So yeah, just making sure you have the frames running is the important part here. So, let's play some power poles and get our first couple of construction robots. Already two roboports? Sweet. Yeah, I'm gonna need lots and lots more copper. Yeah, this is not cutting it. Yeah, this is also running out. So I need to expand to this one before I run out of this copper, probably. This one isn't really neat. I guess I can build that one too, so I have it for when I need it. Let's make this like yeah, 500. 
Uh, this one can actually be 50. Um, yeah, power poles. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, those should probably go in a chest instead. Instead of on the belt up there. Whoops. Okay, are there any more ghosts? I think there are a few more purples. Yeah, there are a few in there. There too, okay. Let's fix those. And there's one more pole. those robots up. Robot speed finished. Nice. I think I want to get started on these so that I can reduce my pollution. It's either that or yeah maybe this one. Well that's quite expensive on the other hand. Reducing pollution would be quite useful. Maybe I just don't research anything right now, actually, so that I can use all my copper for expanding here and taking this copper mine. So, yeah, let's pick these up. And there. Here, I'll just collect these into a chest for now. Uh, if I had a chest. Fortunately, I can make one. There, let's do 500. Too. Very nice number. So I will also need a couple of logistic spots, but not all that many. And I also need to research those first, I guess. Uh, where are those actually? Oh, there, okay. 
Logistic Robotics. Yeah, okay. So I need that technology somewhat soon as well, but it's not quite as important as the construction one. Since I won't be using the advanced logistics chests. Logistics chests. So let's go pick up a roboport, place a roboport, and place some robots. Yeah, we even have a few chests. Let's see if these are limited. They're not. So let's place the same limit on those. I actually need those. Uh, there, let's see. Let's make sure these have chests first. And now. moment I've been waiting for for the last 20 or so hours, I think. Where is it? There. there. And this marks the... This marks the beginning of the next phase for this playthrough. Finally! Robots achieved! Yeah. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> robots achieved, indeed. So now, since I have uh, these things in uh, the network, I can do stuff like upgrade from Iron Chest to uh, Passive Provider and there we go, for example. I can place roller boards. <laughs> I guess I need a few storage ones. Let's put one there for now. And move this and place a roller board there. Then we can actually make a little bank of storage chests somewhere around here like yeah here maybe and now we can start upgrading this into um, these chests instead so which are the most important I guess inserters are important belts are important no not that one these and these and yeah this is going to be significant. But yeah, I'm going to have to call it there for now, because uh, I have... I need to play some video games with my colleagues at work. 
I need some yellow chests or two? Yeah, two. Tourism map camera really is so good, yeah, I agree. But yeah, I'm gonna call it there for now, but I'll be back in uh, like an hour or two or something and continue this. So thanks for watching and I'll see you later tonight.